Greetings, ascending masters of the new earth, rising up, waking up. Today we had another powerful day of higher dimensional activations flowing in. Every day now we are being activated, upgraded, transformed in powerful ways. And every day as I show up to transmit to all of you the codes, the frequencies, the resonance, every day... I will remind you, Great One, of the I Am Presence until we are fully manifesting heaven on earth. And remember, I am the presence filling my world with perfection this day. I am the resurrection and the life, the divine light, God in action. And remember, every thought we have contributes to the world we want to experience, we want to witness. It is the power of the mind and the power of our heart. The more feeling you can put into your intent and your dreams, your wishes, your visions, the more powerful the manifestation. Today I uploaded day 18 of our 33 days discourse on the I Am Presence to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure. We are just beyond halfway to the 33 days of the powers of manifestation and many people are already experiencing powerful transformations in their life. And today I was contemplating after the 33 days I may start teaching on Patreon acupuncture, one of the most simple but most powerful and effective tools and modalities of healing so simple I could teach a 12 year old but so powerful it can heal any age and I've had hundreds of needles in me over the years and trained with several masters so I'll let our patrons vote on what my next course will be acupuncture maybe zazen sitting meditation that we train in the temples, maybe tea ceremony, or martial arts, demak, Shaolin, Kung Fu. We'll see. We'll let our patrons vote. So thank you, everyone that has joined us on this journey of the power of manifestation and manifesting heaven on earth through our I Am presence. Now I'd like for you all to repeat after me, this is a powerful affirmation from our Divine Bro Star of the Light, Reverend Ike. You can either repeat silently or out loud. Here we go. I create all things in the image and likeness of my divine nature. Things do not move me. I move things. I move all things, yet I am unmovable. All of my happiness, all of my good are based upon and proceed from my immutable, invincible, divine nature. Nothing moves me, yet I move all things. Nothing changes me, yet I change all things. I have the power of happiness within my divine self because we manifest perfection through our heart, through our feelings and emotions. The happier you are, the happier the world becomes and is. Because I am here, and I am there, and I am everywhere. There is one I am experienced in many individuals. But it is the same pure awareness that manifests in every conscious mind, every conscious heart, in all timelines, all dimensions, all realms. So it is up to us to take full responsibility for our experience, for our world, for our dreamland. What would you like the new Eden to look like, feel like, be like? Because God wants every one of you to prosper and live in abundance. But it is our free will that needs to be activated in the light and the love and the truth for us to manifest the new earth. Okay, let's keep rolling here. Today, day 60 of anchoring in the new earth energies. We had many powerful frequencies coming in all night and in the morning, many powerful dreams, many ascension symptoms. Although a power of eight appearing on the Schumann resonance, 
from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith, again today. As the energies continue, a new crisscross pattern emerges on the charts. Is this why we feel so intense? Since December 21st, 2020, we have been receiving energies regularly. At the end of January, they intensified, and on February 23rd, the Godzilla energies arrived, bursting in and upgrading us on a new massive scale. With all of these energies, they all followed the same pattern. Energies flow in from opposite the sun facing side. One side is stronger and wraps around Gaia. It always immerses the whole planet, but only starting from one side. Last night's caffeine-inducing energies came in strong, but are now wrapping around Gaia from both sides, crisscrossing the energies and flowing them separately but intensely around Gaia. Is this double wrap of energy why we are feeling them so strongly last night and continuing now? My guides have said we as a collective have moved from a Sunday drive to the Autobahn. They have said a big change is coming, much like flipping of a switch. When that happens, lightworkers with special missions will know and be awoken to those missions. They have started showing me this tomato red night sky as the confirmation of that flip. I'm sharing this with you now because I strongly feel this change is very close. The ringing in the air coming in, the call of the dragon or the call of the tiger. Many light workers are hearing bells or chimes during sleep or meditation. You might remember that a few months ago my guides were telling me to ring the bells and call in the light workers. Now the universe literally is. And I am. I don't think that's a coincidence with the new intensifying energies and everyone's powers are starting to come online. It's all happening. You make this happen. All your inner work, understanding, love, forgiveness, and your amazing light. You are bringing in the biggest ascension in universal history. You are doing it. Thank you for believing enough in this mission and your path. Big things are coming and we've only just begun. Bring in the Ascended Masters. From a girl in the universe dot com. We are the ascended masters. Many of us, if you are hearing this calling, you have done your work, you have ascended, and you have returned for this final mission. So fear not. Keep living and transmitting your joy, your bliss, your love, your compassion for all living things. And today in the last twenty four hours. We had 127 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, the most powerful 5.8 Southeast Indian Ridge, 9.9 coming in, the 99.10 degree. Philippines, we had 4.5 of the 9, 91 kilometers depth. We also had a 3.2 anchor point in the crown of Lemuria, Alaska, 3.2 magnitude, 90 kilometers depth. Fiji, 5.6, 553 kilometers depth. The 8.8 Lions, the Lyran Nation flowing in, coming in. Also early today, Fiji, 4.7, 550 kilometers depth. Micronesia, 5.1, 5.4, 4, 4.9. Tajikistan in the sacred portal again today. The apex, the culmination where the trident the pyramid, the highest point of the three most sacred mountains of the east, the Tian Shan celestial mountain, Kun Lun in the middle, that creates the Yin Yang and the Himalayan in the lower, Dan Tian, come together, Tajikistan, 4.3, Japan 4.3, the 7.7, seven, seven, the sacred 77 coming in. We had a 4.4 four also in Japan. Fiji Islands 4-7, Indonesia 5-0, United States had multiple activations, one in New Mexico, Loving 3.0, we had one in Texas, Van Horn 3.2, we had in California, Santa Susana 3.0, Tonopah, Nevada 3-7, to the 73, Heaven on Earth, Aho, Iceland had multiple activations again today, 4-2, and a 4.8. We also had in Chile, South America, in the Andes Mountains, the Kundalini Pachamama, where the sacred condor flies high with a 4.4, the Divine 44. 
107 kilometers depth, the 17 into the 71, 88 Lions Gate, the Lyra Nation, the Royal Lions. We are being activated, the Lion Kingdom, the Lion of Judah, the Christ Consciousness, and every living being here now. Namaste. Okay, now that we flew through that, let us get going with the Sabian symbols again today. Right now, the moon at 4 degrees, 16 minutes Virgo. The sun at 8 degrees, 38 minutes Pisces. The Sabian symbol for the moon at 5 degrees Virgo. A man becoming aware of nature spirits and normally unseen spiritual energies. The current Sabian symbol for the sun, 9 degrees Pisces. The race begins, intent on outdistancing his rivals. A jockey spurs his horse, or we'll say the horse, to great speed. From astrologyweekly.com today, from divine bro star of the light, Pars Kute, we are now in pre matter fabric of space. And the energies within that is going to manifest the new earth. Golden consciousness is the grid of the new earth, the Gaia grid. In our now moment in 2021, with this disillusion comes gateways and openings as cracks within a brick wall or as parts of a window pane that are being uncovered, letting sunlight stream in. That which is streaming in is the fabric of the new earth. Golden age, golden timeline golden city or that which is called golden consciousness this is the consciousness one holds when one constructs oneself into the divine architecture of the sovereign integral organic human template welcome to new earth of golden consciousness with sacred love of one pars kute and from divine angel of the light dr shavi m ali namaste to everyone for grounding where either Bodhi seed or sandalwood prayer malas into which you can chant the sacred pranava, which translates as cosmic sound, om. You can also wear a lotus seed mala. All of these substances have powerful earth Gaia energies. The Bodhi seed and the sandalwood are from sacred trees anchored into the earth, and the lotus seed is from the beautiful flower, which is rooted in murky waters, but whose flower petals come forth each day upon the waters. As the sun's rays shine upon it, other grounding substances, but those that are from the stone family, are black tourmaline, shungite, onyx, hematite, pyrite, smoky quartz, and turquoise. These are healing, just as are the prayer malas mentioned, and are also protection from mankind's EMF frequencies which can interfere with the reception of source light which is streaming into our planet. Also eat fresh salads and drink lots of water. Many people here in Michigan, as well as my students and friends in other states and around the world, are reporting extreme fatigue, back pain, and stiffness. Trouble sleeping, heart palpitations, and anxiety as these light codes come in to upgrade DNA. The next several days, we are in the portal of the coming full moon in Virgo, which arrives tomorrow, Saturday, February 27th, which is excellent for healing. Use this time as retreat energy and get lots of relaxation, light fragrant incense and calming blue candles. Pray and meditate, do yoga, take walks in nature, do pranayama breath techniques. Love to all. Today from Divine Sister of Light Karen Lithica. I don't know, the rain stick wanted to come in real quick. Hello, sacred being of light. Global light tribe, know we stand in the billions aligned to Mother Gaia. Our DNA is interconnected, awakening, expanding, activating, aligning billions across the galaxy, connecting to the ancestral origins of Gaia. See it as a multidimensional community of expansion, support, and alignment. Your role now, trust the path, trust your unfoldment, trust in your inner knowing, trust in the flow.
trust from karenlithica.com from divine sister of the light carolyn servant of yahweh 1122 the treasure chest has been rescued and fully restored back into god's hands within you lies the key to open the chest and find wisdom together with wisdom you are opening the chest and revealing the truth of your happily ever after the manifestations of your holy grail union are revealing themselves through this virgo full moon finally your mind is clear of illusions for you to clearly know what kind of partner relationship and family you desire now you are in alignment with your holy grail match this is shifting the divine masculine christ collective away from serving the devil's agenda of separation back home into union with the divine feminine christ karmic debts and collections are balancing today receive let go according to karma dharma on your individual path all is neutralizing for you to move forward into your destined dna this is all supporting mother earth and heaven's union the divine feminine christ are releasing the karmic load of freeing and raising up the divine masculine christ today healing and restoration to the land and the flesh are restoring for the sisterhood of the rose the magdalene seed branch are ready to be exposed as the true brides of christ ready for anointment with their bridegrooms wisdom is showing us all the way of our collective and genetic ascension into christ consciousness and the new age of aquarius unconditional love is the only way in this christed age we are being called to defend love and unity with creator until birthing of new heaven and new earth is complete and utilize the virgo full moon energies that are here to support and collapse of the jezebel timeline for good the past is coming back to review and let go everything is coming to the surface for an evaluation and closure we are in the energies of neutralizing for our growth and healing from separation soon it will be go time time to fly carolyn kundalini twin flames today from divine bro star of the light daniel scranton lemoria atlantis egypt and your et dna the 90 arcturian council greetings we are the arcturian council and we are pleased to connect with all of you we are so very happy with the progress that we feel you are making on earth as a collective of beings you have taken yourselves so very far since the times of lemoria atlantis and egypt and you have done so with very little interference and very little intervention on the part of the extraterrestrials in fact you have done so very well for yourselves there on earth in spite of the way that physical ets can somehow in some way get involved in your spiritual evolution the time that you are living in now is the time for you to step up and show your readiness to be a part of the galactic community of which you are a part it is not time for ets to just land their ships and disrupt their natural evolution as they did during the times of lemuria atlantis the egyptian empire and other times throughout your history you would have done fine just on your own because even without physical ets coming and landing their ships you still have that extraterrestrial dna inside of you some of you have a lot more of it than others but everyone there on earth has some and that et dna gets activated by all sorts of occurrences that have nothing to do with you actually being visited for face-to-face -face contact even ufo sightings are not entirely necessary to give you the activations of your et dna but living your lives and having all of the experiences that you have these are the best ways for you to access what is buried deep down inside of each and every one of you you've all been higher dimensional beings and you can all become so much more than you could at any other time in human history and that is because every part of you is evolving to keep up with the energies that you have upon you energies that have more to do with your sun and the photon belt than they do the beings and collectives like ourselves and what we are capable of sending you it was always a part of the plan for you all to evolve on your own because the earth experiment is part of a much bigger story a story that was initiated by source and you are the aspects of source that are best equipped to bring humankind into that higher level of consciousness that we and others refer to as the fifth dimension we want you to feel proud of what you have accomplished 
and what you will accomplish. And we want you to know that once again, you have everything that you need inside of you, and you always have. You are not going to repeat what happened on Lemuria, Atlantis, and in Egypt. You are going to go far beyond what those ancient civilizations were capable of accomplishing. And you are going to do it because of what is inside of you. This we know to be true. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. Today from Forever Conscious. We currently have zero major planets in retrograde. This trend will continue until April 27th when Pluto will break the spell. This is some strong forward moving energy that can help us to make leaps and bounds. This energy is our green light to leave the past in the past and look toward the future. Your affirmation prayer, the old ways are done, a new now is here. It's time for me to switch my gears. New opportunities await. A clear path is forming. I am ready for whatever lies before me. Today, from Divine Sister of the Light, Adrian Alice, Gaia Daily, February 26th through March 1st, Rebirth. This weekend's Virgo full moon is a culminating energy of the intense astrology of February 2021 of many squares between the fixed signs of Taurus and Aquarius. All month long we have been feeling Jupiter and squared a black moon Lilith as we try to bring light to the darkest corners of our reality. Mercury now direct is finally moving off of the 11 degree mark and beginning to gain momentum. This will bring Mercury and square to black moon Lilith and then in conjunction with Jupiter for the first week of March. It is time to move into new territory and into the Aquarian age and these planets are coming to counsel about it. With all of this Aquarius energy, the dark shadows have to do with programmed shame associated with feminine intuition technology. Ever since the Atlantean time, the female power in all of us in the earth has had to hide her power in secret. This created a dark mother archetype. Humans became disconnected from loving spirit, which allowed them to be manipulated through fear and trauma over thousands of years. This Virgo full moon coming on the heels of all of these black moon Lilith transits is offering us a great redemption. Today Venus moves over into the sign of Pisces. Purified, our feminine power is ready to take her rightful place back on her throne. May the intuitive feminine in all of us be released from the silent bondage. May miracles reign again as humanity moves over into a golden age of abundance where the healing arts are held sacred, valued, and celebrated. We are reborn into a world where all of humanity feels connected and cared for. AdrianElise.com From here in the Moon Astrology, Friday, February 26, 2021. As Saturn's Virgo full moon waxes large, the palpable influx of Earth energy is a welcome restoration of balance, stability, and grounding. Settle into your core and catch up with yourself physically, emotionally, and energetically after the constant electricity of February's Aquarian overload of white noise. You may be surprised to discover the new downloads and insights you absorbed whilst you were flatlining. As the full moon aligns with Uranus and fellow earth sign Taurus, the sign of the Buddha and the world third eye, just allow being deeply present to your physicality to become the new normal in your transition to full embodiment. Your unique ecology is your energy signature, the magnetic field that surrounds you that you live from, draw on, and co-create. Your breath, your physicality, your food, your creativity, your health, your heart, your frequency. For it to flow for you to thrive, not just survive, you need to clear the river. This quote from Sharon Blackie says it clearly. We are bleeding at the roots because embracing the wasteland means that we are out of touch with the seasons and the cycles of the year, with a natural world to which we have forgotten we belong. Whatever form it takes, whether it comes easily to us or not, we have to be still and trust. We have to resist the urge to view what is happening to us as a problem to be solved. We have to let ourselves hurt, release the old needs, let go of the old urges to become what we are not, what we were not meant to be. This is how we pave the way for rebirth. We are more than the sum of our wounds. We need to focus on coming back to our bodies, beginning to repossess our instincts, beginning to reclaim our deep connection to the land and its non-human inhabitants. This is how we heal. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk 
Today from Divine Sister of the Light Lea, White Horse, Lua Astrology, Sun in Pisces, Semi Sextile, Saturn in Aquarius, Jupiter in Aquarius, Trine the North Node in Gemini. Jupiter, planet of blessings and abundance, activates the door of destiny. We may find that a good deal is returned in kind, a past connection comes back to help, or perhaps it's just a moment of understanding that brings the big picture into view. The universe invents ways to bring us in forward momentum. Get inspired about the future, read, study, listen to inspirational teachers, expand your idea of what you think is possible. The sun's connection to Saturn adds in some manifestation magic. This aspect links the imaginative waters of Pisces with the innovative qualities of Aquarius. Consider how you can further define your dreams, what steps you need to put in place, what skills you need to master, the structures needed to support your endeavors. Don't let doubt overrule faith. New horizons await. From LeahWhitehorse.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 7-4, White Solar Wizard. Today is a solar day, meaning it's the ninth day of the wave spell. Its key words are realizing intention and pulse. The ninth day is all about intention, grabbing what you want. It is a very powerful number, so be very careful about your intentions. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck said His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Whatever you pursue today, consider if you really need it because the chances of you succeeding are very high. Today is White Wizard and its key words are enchant, receptivity, and timelessness. The Wizard of the Zolkin is a charming character who can mesmerize all that encounters him. If you are a wizard, you are always charming, but when it's your day, you have even more power over others. So be careful how you use your charms. We can all take a leaf out of Wizard's Book of Spells and enchant others. Enchantment can occur as pleasant surprises, chance encounters, or magical journeys. Today from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, White, Solar Wizard, Kin 74, 26 February 2021. Hip hip hooray, it's super magical, white wizardry day, an enchanting heart of pulsing love through surrendering to spirit 26 2 2021 equal 8 2 5 equal 8 7 equal 15 equal 6 26 empowerment through compassion 8 abundance infinity source flow 2 partnership cooperation twins 5 freedom liberation transformation change 7 magic mystic spiritual initiation tests 6 heaven christ harmony family Kin 74 equal 11, gate portal, a very powerful, magical, heavenly portal day. One of my favorite combos, white wizard and white world bridger, combined with white dog, triple white codes today, purity and truth of spirit through white magic. My kind of wonderful, what a treat. The white clan are the refiners, they aim to purify your body, mind, and soul to increase your light quotient and become the pure embodiment of spirit. They hold the keys to pure divine truth and wisdom. Today we have three times the white spirit power assisting you in increasing your pure vibe. So vibe high, dear ones. Day 9 in the white world bridger wave spell of surrender, letting go, forgiveness, networking, and building bridges. Today is all about building the bridges to other worlds through surrendering to the magical power of our purest heart. Tone of creation, solar tone 9, operates in the spiritual realm. Action, realizing power to pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day of the white world bridger wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization visualizing what we want to manifest and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. This is potent manifestation energy today. What are you pulsing today through your heart and this magical heavenly portal? What dreams are you pulsing into existence? Thus we are gifted once again with divine, magically spiritual day supporting us to expand as solar humans through the power of love.
It is time to pulse forth the seeds of the new time and the new harmonic matrix. Radiate your light, dear blossoming star seeds. Today's question is how can I totally surrender all that is not love and open my pure heart to its fullest capacity in order to pulse endless, unconditional love throughout the cosmos? So, beloveds, love this glorious day. Love yourself and love one another. Open your precious heart to the magic and power of love to connect all hearts as one super divine cosmic heart. Divine blessings for the continuous pulsing of this love wave throughout our world. And Lakek Ala Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66, Kin 74, White. Solar Wizard, the mantra, the code for today is, I pulse in order to enchant. Realizing receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of heart. So beloved beings of light, with the power of your heart, your intention, and your timelessness, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to thank everyone for your continued support on Patreon with your pledges and donations. We rely on the donations and pledges for our daily living expenses and then ultimately to fund our projects and visions such as the Healing Retreat Center. No new pledges or donations came in today, so we want to thank everyone that is continuing to support us. If you'd like to support our work and mission, you can make a pledge on patreon.com forward slash prime disclosure or we have a link in the description below for donations on our PayPal if you'd like to make a one-time donation. And if you're on our Patreon, please sure to check out today's discourse, day 18 of 33 days of the power of manifestation through the I Am Presence. And we have many great things to come, brothers and sisters of the light. If you haven't checked it out on Patreon yet, be sure one of our most powerful guided meditations, the golden spiral that was transmitted to me directly from source in December 2020. And it is the voice of my sacred condor and myself transmitting the crystalline codes through this golden spiral meditation. And right now that is only found on our Patreon page. I'd like to also thank everyone for supporting my queen's art business on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful goddess totems and wool purses. Today we'll be uploading something very special, or I should say adding, which is the four goddesses of the four seasons. The rain stick wanted to come in again. Aho! Now you can purchase these beautiful works of art on lunagoddessart.com. So we're going to end today's transmission with a powerful full moon in Virgo prayer puja from the Archangelic Calendar. This is a full moon blessing, puja, prayer, incantation, enchantment from the Archangelic Calendar. We use the earth as a rhythmic reminder, a friend, an ally, and an inspiration. La Luna is much like you and me, infinitely expanding creator source in disguise. Everything said and done can be done in a divine light if we keep this underlying tone. The following words hail from many different traditions. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the east to summon forth the highest vibrations of pure love and the highest fractals of divine light, envision platinum flames, emerald green flames, ruby red flames, violet flames, and rainbow flames, engulfing the earth from all directions. 
I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the southeast to summon forth positive sweeping change in all possible ways. Envision an exit funnel that directly connects to infinitely expanding creator source and acts as a vacuum transmuting massive amounts of cloudy energy. Send them where you feel inclined to. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the south to bring forth the flame of an eternal fire that burns through our physical reality. These flames connect us to the most divine and profound aspects of existence. Summon forth to planet Earth the following flames. Violet flame, emerald green flame, ruby red flame, rose gold flame, golden magenta combo flame, the blue and platinum of Sirius A, the orange blue and platinum of Sirius B, and rainbow flame. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the southwest to take definite action to create with pure love and peaceful emotions. I intend to serve the highest aspects of my divine self with grace and purpose. List the things that you will be manifesting that will replace all that has transitioned today. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the west to evoke the union of all divisions, as above, so below, as to the temples, so to the sky. We connect with divine love for the sake of all existence. Feel the love and connection that you have with all things, your earth, your galaxy, and your universe. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the northwest, with the understanding that the only thing that I am working with at all times is infinitely expanding creator source energy. I acknowledge that everything and everyone, including myself, is infinitely expanding creator source in a specific form. Connect with source in a straightforward and meaningful way. Speak to source as if it was sitting next to you. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the north to bless and appreciate Gaia and all of her beauty. I know that all things on earth must be a co-creation of all beings involved, including Mother Earth. I am blessed. I send great healing and love to our beautiful Divine Mother. Summon via deep visualization a giant mandala on the Earth's equator, piercing through Mother Earth using whatever colors you wish to call and make it spin. Then summon a golden platinum emerald combo light to its center, and rotate the mandala in the opposite direction. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the northeast to bless all things in all directions. I sanctify myself, my world, my solar system, my galaxy, my universe, my multiverse, an infinitely expanding creator source with a heart full of gratitude. Bless all things. Bless your planet. Bless your galaxy. Bless source. Then list the things that you are grateful for. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to all the unnamed directions to evoke the elements of my highest nature via my inner divine dragon. In the spirit of cosmic alignment, let us focus on the purpose of evoking world progression by engulfing the earth in the following plasmas, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, teal, rose gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond and rainbow. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit within and connect to the infinite inner divine where infinity exists. And now meditate. Metakwiyosin, 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 metakwiyosin. Aho! Beloved beings of light, keep walking your sacred path with heart. 444 coming in. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.